This feels big. What is going on guys? Welcome back to Be The Fish. Real fast before we get into today's video, I just really wanna say thank you to everyone that has supported me and the Be The Fish channel and the Chasing Hardware series this past year. We posted the last one for 2022 this past week. If you haven't checked that out, I'll link that here and drop a card for you guys. I really just wanna thank everyone that has supported those videos, commented, reached out over social. It seriously means a lot because I put my heart and soul into fishing those events, filming it, and trying to put together a video to share with you guys. So when you guys comment or reach out or watch and thumbs up and all that, it seriously means the world more than I think you guys will realize. I don't just do this just to do it. I do it because I have a lot of passion behind it and I, I really truly enjoy it and I love sharing my experiences on the water with you guys. So I just really wanted to say that really fast. Uh, I'd really like, I think just making a simple post or something on YouTube or social doesn't really do it justice. I wanted to tell you guys camera to face here uh, that I appreciate you. So thank you. So today's video um, is actually from the end, very end of October. We took the Hobie out on the Great Lakes, chasing some big smallmouth, and uh, we struggled for multiple hours to find these fish, but then when we found them, we figured out they were being super weird. The, I'll explain at the end, you'll have to watch the footage. It, it was super cool going from struggling all day to kind of questioning, you know, because Great Lakes was to be like smallmouth Disneyland, to then finding them at, at the end of the day. So enjoy, let's roll the footage, we'll talk to you guys at the end. It is unbelievably calm out here. It, this is incredible. This is gonna be hopefully <laughs> we're gonna hopefully we're gonna <laughs> run into some fish because this is it is late October, guys. Like the last couple days of October to get a day like this, man, incredible. All right, guys, we have found an area I think has them. It doesn't look like there's many. Typically in the fall, that means there might be some big ones. We're away from all the boats right now. There's a couple different areas that are pretty key here, but they're kind of community holes, and I want to do something different. I want to get away from the crowd, at least for now. If I have to join the crowd later, it's fine. I want to do my own thing, find my own fish. So you can do that, you might also run into some big ones. Still graphing around guys, trying to find some fish. I don't really feel like joining the crowds just yet. I just do know when I find them, we'll catch them. It's just a matter of trying to find the fish set up correctly. I'm not really running into any groups of them just yet. I've seen a few here and there, but it's just super isolated and moving so fast it's really hard to pick them off. So we're gonna keep moving along, graphing until we find a good group of fish. Dude, they're loaded over here. So many, dude. They're just not biting. There's like no big schools. Huh? Is there a tournament today? I don't know. I saw guys boxing their smallmouth and I was like, this is weird. Yeah, that'd be a pretty lame thing to do. Walter! Yeah, you want it? I really wish I could say yeah. It's a good one too. <laughs> Alright dude. Oh yeah.
That hurts. Well, <laughs> I saw that one come up. That was a 5 plus. That would have been uh, nice to have, being that it's almost noon. That was our first fish. We're around so many fish, and they will not eat. It's blowing my mind. Like, it's fall. Why are they not eating? I know we don't have any wind. I can see some wind coming down the lake, but, like, come on, dude. Like, should still eat a drop shot? I don't know. It's just uh, very frustrating. All right, we're back in business now. That sucked losing that big one. Solid one, probably a three and a half pounder. Not the kind that we're looking for, or the one that we just lost. What in the? There's white bass in here. Okay. We're gonna hit one last spot. This is not how I anticipated the day going. This is brutal. One more spot and then we're gonna probably call it quits.
This is definitely a bigger fish. My hook is all messed up. I just want to see it. I just want to see it. I think it's a small now. It looks like a decent one. Yeah, that's more like what we're going after. The hook is all messed up. That's like what we're going after right there. That right there. That's what we're going after. Let's see how much this sucker weighs. Almost five pounds. It's bouncing between 412 and 415. Thank you, sir. My hook is so messed up. But it's still sharp, so we're still gonna use it. Cause I'm a lunatic. This feels big. Like big head shakes. I can't tell what the hell it is. Oh yeah, big one. That's a decent one. Good one. Well, eh, not a big one, but he fought good. He fought well. <laughs> no dirty 30 today, but I got like 20 pounds, and that's <laughs> nothing to uh, write home about here in the Great Lakes. That was just a blind cast up to the random abyss. You never know out here. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a giant. 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 That is a giant. <laughs> Cast a freaking catch. Ooh. There's another one. There's another one right there. There's another one. Alright, alright, alright. Chill, 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 chill. That is a dang big one. That is a dang big one. Whew. Yeah, that's a stud. Let's see how much this one goes. Five, five, three, five yonder. It's a nice five yonder. Alright, mama. See you later. Yeah, like lamprey scars. Thank you. 
go get over there before her friends do. No way! Damn, that was a big one. I really should have replaced my hook. I think it's the hook, maybe? It's still sharp as heck. Yeah, I'm definitely being stupid right now, playing with this hook, but... Time is of the essence. that was as big i don't want to say bigger hold on i got another one yeah i can still see you i want to say it was bigger they're all random rogues dude they're, they're all rogues like i'm out in the middle of nowhere i'll call you right back okay There's my excuse to get rid of this hook. Yeah, there's another one. Now I gotta get rid of this hook. That is what I gotta do. So we finally ran into some fish, uh, but we're about to head in. You know, not 30 pounds today, not the goal we wanted, but uh, I wanted to show you guys the setup that I use for drop shot in these smallmouth. A um, little bit different than what I'm used to, but I'm experimenting, and it worked out pretty good for me today. Uh, this is a Fenwick Elite Bass Rod. It's the new Fenwick Elite lineup. It's a seven foot medium fast. They have the new Abu Garcia Revo SX 2500. We have a Owner Mosquito Light, which I am kind of torn with right now because I broke two of them today, but uh, that put most of the fish in the boat. Berkeley flatworm, six pound gamma fluorocarbon, and a half ounce queen tackle tungsten uh, drop shot. That was the setup for anyone that is curious. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It's actually, it's been a little over a month and a half that I actually filmed that. Uh, so not super relevant to right now, but the Great Lakes are always turning out good fish. And it's not always just the dream fishery of you're catching fish every second and they're all giants. Uh, it might look that way and some days truly are, but there's some days where it's, it's a struggle and you really got to work for them and figure them out. And it was super cool to find these fish. They were random ropes that they were out in the middle of the abyss. Everyone was pounding the good stuff. There was so many boats out. There was a giant Canadian bass tournament that was going on. And uh, essentially what happened was I found these fish pushed off of the good stuff. Basically, like these hard points would come out. There's a mud flat, a little bit of harder bottom, and that's what they were on. So they were pushed off a little bit. There's a little bit of bait out there. And I could find them schooled up in pods of like three to four. You could turn around, catch one or two, and you have to go find a, a, more of them. And it was like, you either drop on them on 2D or you could see them on Mega Live. But beyond that, I mean, it was super hard to catch these fish uh, in this video because they were moving so dang fast. They were going all over the place. It was super hard to stay on them. And that was the most challenging part. But there's definitely a, a time period where the water temps are too warm on the Great Lakes uh, in the fall where it creates that summer to fall transition. And ours was super late this year. And I think that's what these fish were still in because the water temps were still warm. The air temp was cold. Water temps were still a bit warmer and these fish were still in transition. So I think that's why it was a struggle, but we're gonna try to get out one more time, two more times, hopefully this winter and actually put on a full on smash fest on the Hobie and maybe go chase the biggest bag of smallmouth caught from a kayak on YouTube. I definitely think it's possible, but if you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, share this with your friends and uh, appreciate you all once again. See you on the next one.